Once the woman's measurements have been taken, conduct a visual examination. Go around to the back of the woman and observe whether or not her hair is clean. Por el embarazo luego está un poco debilitado también. Sí, sí, sí. Te vas a cuidar un poco tía, ¿sí? sí. Te voy a mirar un poco la oreja. Feel the ears and gauge the skin condition and whether there are nodules. If the inside of the ear is infected, the woman will feel pain when you touch the auricle. If the thyroid gland is diseased, it can affect the development of the baby. Examine the thyroid by look and palpation. See if there is pain when you push it with your fingers. To check for swelling, have the woman swallow her saliva and see if you can feel any movement along the windpipe. Face the woman and look in her eyes, pulling the eyelids down gently to observe whether the bulbar conjunctiva is bloodshot or inflamed. A normal bulbar conjunctiva should be dark pink. If it's whitish, the woman may be anemic. A blood test is necessary to determine the problem. Check the mucous membrane of the nasal cavity and look inside the mouth for any tooth decay. Muy bien. Están muy bien cuidados tus dientes. Vamos a tener cuidado de cepillar siempre después de todas las comidas, entonces y antes de dormir para que no se carien tus dientes, bueno. para que no se debiliten, ¿sí? Bueno, entonces ahora... Examine the breasts, observing their size and shape, checking for lumps, the shape of the nipples, and whether there is any secretion of colostrum. Normal nipples should protrude, allowing the nursing infant to easily suckle. Flat nipples are difficult for an infant to suckle at because they do not protrude. Inverted nipples retract into the skin in response to stimulus, obviously making suckling difficult. An effective way to induce flat or inverted nipples to protrude is massaging them. Have an expecting mother begin the massage from the first weeks of pregnancy. A mother's milk is highly nutritious and helps protect the infant from infection. Care of the nipples is important to ensure that newborns can suckle easily and consume plenty of milk. Examine the abdomen by palpation noting any abdominal pain, scars, or stretch marks. Stretch marks occur because the growing uterus stretches the skin of the belly, causing breaks in the subcutaneous tissue. The lines appear as irregular reddish-brown lines. Stretch marks are especially common with mothers carrying twins or excess amniotic fluid. When a pregnant woman lies on her back face up for more than 5 to 10 minutes, her pulse may quicken, causing nausea. This is due to the enlarged uterus pressing on the inferior vena cava, reducing the flow of blood back to the heart. This can be immediately relieved by having her lie on her left side. Visually examine the legs for varicose veins and skin conditions. Observe whether the soles of her feet are clean or not. Varicose veins are more common in pregnant women because of 1. Increased female hormone levels exerting a greater influence during pregnancy. 2. Blood pooling in the legs due to the enlarged uterus pressing against the veins of the lower body and 3. Pregnancy causing increased blood flow to the pelvic region, impairing return blood flow.